torch here. Oh. I took apart my back brakes here on the old 77 and man they were bad they were just rusty 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 except for the shoes looks like somebody put relatively new shoes on it and they just weren't working so this stuff is all rusty so I am sandblasting it with this little baby thing works pretty nice I don't remember where I got it if it was a swap meet or what but real handy I mean you just unscrew this cap here fill up the tank turn on the little valve there shoot sand out and cleans it all off the only thing though is you want to make sure you put tape on stuff like uh, where wheel bearings would be stuff that you don't want that sand getting into that's why I'm doing this outside under my rain tarp here so it looks like it's trying to rain again but anyway I already did this side cleaned it up pretty good these things are so rusted though I'm not gonna get them they're not gonna be perfect I mean this is 43 years of grime did a little bit on the frame right there but yeah it's working working good enough I just want to get this cleaned up so I can paint it I got new brake parts coming today all new springs and all that stuff I'm gonna use the old shoes because they're fine they're just gonna need a little bit of brake cleaner on them probably but otherwise make sure you wear safety glasses and one of them uh, one of them one of them masks for the flu because this dust goes everywhere that'll actually help with this it won't you won't get all that sand in your lungs See if I can show you a little bit here. See, this one isn't going to clean up much better, but at least I'm getting the big chunky stuff. Now get a little bit on here. These will clean up. See, those will clean up pretty nice. But these backing plates, they're just so, so pitted. I just mostly want to get the surface crap off and paint them up so everything works in here pretty smoothly and good enough for what I'm using it for. Like I keep saying, I ain't building no show truck. It just got to look good from about 25 feet away. Somebody be like, oh, nice truck, man. And they'll get up close and go, what the hell did you do to this poor thing? Anyway. So, that's what I'm doing. I'll show you a little more here, a little, a little bit. This doesn't get in my camera. I didn't even really think of that. Oh well.
does go through it pretty quick. The tank is pretty much empty now. But still, you know, if a feller really wanted to get smart and cheap about it, you could lay down a great big old tarp here and collect all of this sand and keep reusing it. But the only problem with that is after a while, it's not sand anymore. It's like, uh, turns into flour. <laughs> then it doesn't do a whole lot of good. But you could probably reuse it a couple of times. This I'm not too worried about because I really ain't going to be doing that much. I just want to get this stuff cleaned up and I'm kind of pressed for time here. I don't really want to be laying down a big old tarp and messing with all of that. I got too many other things going on today. So I'm going to do some more of this and then show you a shot what it looks like after. Alright, well that's about as clean as I can get it. So time for a little paint. If I can get it to come out of this can. The stupid nozzle busted off. Ah hate that. There we go. Just want to kind of lightly coat this. I don't want to get too much on there because it might make things not fit right. Just want to protect it. I'd say that's about good enough. I don't want it getting too thick and making some of that hardware not fit on there and then I got to clean off paint and then I got the drums all cleaned up turned out pretty decent so I'm gonna go ahead and paint those too pretty nifty I used a sandblaster for most of it but I did end up uh, breaking out the old angle angle grinder with some uh, wire wheels I did a little more on the frame too. I think I get, if I get enough of this good old Krylon left, I'm going to touch up some of this stuff just to stop it a little bit, but I don't know. Like I said, I ain't building no show truck. <laughs> and the frame in my opinion is going to hold up for quite a while yet so I'm really not too worried about it I think it'd probably take another 20 years for this frame to rust through and actually break and I'll probably be dead by then so I'm really not too worried about it you know that don't look too shabby enough for now I would say I'm gonna let this stuff dry it shouldn't take too long at all and then wheel her back in the garage because I got to get some paint on this sucker so this wood doesn't get bad but in order to do that I'm gonna have to take off my 2x4 framing holding it together strong so I don't know if I'm gonna do that just yet I really want to get this box in the garage but I don't know so I got a lot of metal work to do on it that's for sure now that I got all of the paint off I gotta rebuild that hole right there That wheel well is just gone. But I'll just sheet metal that in. Maybe slap a couple of pieces of sheet metal down there in some of them holes. Like I said, I'm going to have to pop rivet it. Because I don't believe there's going to be any welding to that. 
I mean, come on. I put the welder on there. It's just going to burn a hole right through it. I was lucky to get that piece right there welded on. There was actually metal there. I couldn't believe it. But yeah, and then this whole lower section looks like somebody shot it with a shotgun. And there's from the last time I fixed it. I'm just going to leave that metal on. This is exactly what I'm going to do on the other side. Just like I did on the fenders. Cut and form, cut and form. But unfortunately, this is going to have to be pop rivets, so it's going to take a while. The welder was nice because I could just went bink, bink, bink. And then back here, which would be the driver's side back, that whole piece is just, man, I might be better off just chop that right off and make a new piece and put it on there. Because that is totally gone. Probably be a lot easier. Just chop that off and put another piece on. Then I got a big hole right there. Oh yeah, and I finally got all that extra layer of caulk on that last night. So that should dry. But yeah, I really want to Oh man, yeah. I still got a wire brush down the whole inside of this box outside here. Dang it. Yeah, cuz I don't want to I'm trying to do all this stuff outside because my garage is so full of bondo dust, so full of rust dust, so full of every dust there is. I'm trying to do this crap outside. Dang it, I forgot about that. So, well, I guess I'll be bringing the truck back in. Probably getting those brakes done. And then grinding on all of this. And then I'm just going to paint this stuff. Just to protect it and make it look somewhat decent. Yep, otherwise I ain't really too worried about some of the holes in here. I mean, that's good drainage. I don't want this thing being a swimming pool. I want the water to leak out. That's how it got this way. The water didn't leak out and it just sat there until it finally rusted a hole through and then it leaked out. But anyway, Enough of me rambling about that. So, anyway, it don't look too bad. Good enough for me. Maybe I'll shoot more video on the brakes. Anyway, well, I don't know. It's about it for this one. I don't like making my videos too long for you guys. Torch out.